Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you what I call the Red Deer Loop here on Valdebois. I mentioned it in the uncut Heminol barrel hunt video a while back, so I decided that I would show it to you guys. Basically the way I'm going to do this is go ahead and just edit two of uh, the different kills, but I'm going to try to keep my hunter made out in each clip so you can actually see how long it does take me to do this hunt. But basically this area is just uh, a good area for Red Deer, and there's a cow walking up behind us. I was calling a bit ago, so i got to get in my stand which fortunately is right there. But anyway, this area just tends to uh, contain a lot of red deer, and I can normally get quite a few kills hunting uh, just with bows in a very short amount of time. So as you can see, there's already red deer here. That's the third one that I know of since I've been uh, in this game, which has been like six minutes. Uh, I heard a stag back towards where that uh, female is coming from. I heard another female over here and then I just saw that one so we're gonna sit here and I guess I'll show you on the map quickly where we're gonna go maybe I'll shoot this one first actually since I can hear her so let's see can we see her yeah there she is so we'll just have to wait till she comes a bit further unfortunately in single player which I'm in right now um, going to the map we'll pause your game there's a road deer trotting over there. But yeah, I'm not going to go to the map yet to show you where I'm at because that's not going to get this red deer any closer to us. So I'll let her uh, get to where we can take a shot and then shoot her, and then I'll show you on the map where we're going to be going. So it would be nice if she'd walk just a bit further, but I suppose I was calling from there. So that's why she stopped. I think I don't want to take her with the reverse draw just because I know there is a stag coming from that area. So I'm going to do my old trick here, hopefully. And start to draw back. Get out. And she's dead. Alright. So. This is kind of what we're going to do on the map. You can see we're starting here. I thought I heard more footsteps, but you can't. a single player. <laughs> uh, we're going to start here at this tent. So there's the coordinates of that. We're going to head this way. Uh, we're going to loop back up around uh, by this lake and probably stop by that X. So, that's the plan. Already one red deer dead, I believe. Whoa, that was glitchy. I believe there's two more coming. So I'm going to sit here for a while. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so this is the stag that I heard calling. I actually left the stand because I didn't see him coming from where he called from. And I guess he probably just had to cross the water because he is coming in. And he's still in render of where I was at the stand. So, I don't know, but this just speeds it up a bit. So. Alright, that's two. I forgot to mention that I brought the reverse draw crossbow as well as the pulser uh, just because they're pretty much the uh, two best weapons as far as like power and uh, silence or quietness. Alright. Pretty small stag, but I'll take it. Alright, so we've actually got three red deer coming right now. And unfortunately, I think we're only going to get to kill one of them. Uh, without spooking the others. There's a cow right there. Decent looking stag. Where did he go? Right there. And there's another small stag uh, right over there. So let's uh, try to hurry up and shoot this guy. He's at around 40 and closing, but I, I can't see these other ones not spooking. And he's going to have to pass behind a tree. That's just going to make it that much tougher to not spook the others. Let's take our shot. Alright. Just in case the other stag didn't spook, because I don't see him. I don't see him running. I'm going to just crawl up here. And take a quick look. Oh, there he is. He didn't spook. Awesome. Alright. Just going to stay low, because he's probably at the very least alerted. And how far is that? 60. We can use the reverse draw crossbow for this. Speed things up just a bit. Unless he keeps moving, then we can't. <laughs> That's 
basically what happens every single time I try to take any sort of a long shot with anything. As soon as I get aimed, they start walking. So as soon as he stops, we are just going to go ahead and use the reverse draw um, for this guy. So that should be around 40 to 45. And he's down. Awesome. So we're four red deer. Yeah, we've killed four. And I've been in the hunt for exactly 16 and a half minutes. And I actually started like 10 minutes ago because you saw it was like 8, 12 uh, when I started to get into the tree stand on the hunter mate. So like I said, this is a good area. And I just crouch walk. Pretty heavy, 217. I just crouch walk. Sometimes I walk for a bit, but I don't run or anything. I just crouch walk, keep calling. They do tend to call back, and yeah, it works pretty well. I do always spawn at 8 o'clock when I do this um, part of the map. Oh, there's a couple more over there. That looks like two stags, or at least, no, one stag, and there's two there. And there's a hind calling back there. She might end up following us in. So as you can see, this is clearly a really good area for red deer. And if you get super lucky while you're hunting with the pulser, you can do it with a reverse draw and pretty much any bow. But the pulser and Parker Python specifically, you can do it uh, really well. Sometimes you can take out like these herds of three to six to even more than that, I think. Sometimes uh, you can run into like six or seven. But if you just... If the animals time it right and you make good shots, sometimes you can just kill all of them uh, without them spooking. But we'll work on calling these uh, four in, the one over there and these three. And yeah, we'll see about maybe getting more than one using the reverse draw crossbow to our advantage. Alright, we've got this small stag coming in. We might take him with the reverse draw, depending on how close this other cow behind us is. I can't see her. So I'm thinking she might be kinda close. So maybe we'll take a pulser shot at 30. There is a red fox over there and there's yet another uh, female red deer. Can't really see her right now. She's kinda behind the leaves. Alright, he's down. The next closest one I thought was over here unless it is... Yeah, there she is right here although she might not be the next closest if we go this way and take a reverse draw crossbow shot there's another red deer a lot of females unfortunately in this spawn but you never know sometimes you run into stags everywhere but like I said we're gonna try to take a reverse draw shot before these other ones get close maybe and possibly kill this one so we're looking at 60 right there if she'll stop and she does, can't see very well. Just sneak to where we can see. Let's hurry up and shoot her. Oh, we hit high. But we didn't spook the others. Alright, so I'll track that uh, after. Might have been single lung. She was right in there. And yeah, we, we long shot her because she just laid down. Uh, so we'll go back for that. Next red deer right here. Might go for a reverse draw shot on her as well. Uh, maybe not. That other hind might be uh, easier to not spook if we use the pulser. Alright, so that's around 45 meters. Just sneaking a little closer to make it a bit easier. She's dead. Oh, we gotta reload our quiver, don't we? Uh, no, that glitch happened. I forgot about that. There's kind of a glitch uh, that if you put your pulser away before you reload the quiver, it gets reloaded automatically. So that is kind of something they need to fix up as well with it. I believe I mentioned that in an earlier video. At least it's one of the more helpful glitches, but like I said, hopefully they can get that fixed. But I'm sure... That might not be their uh, top priority at the moment. So this other female is calling right there. 
in front of us. Right in front of us, in fact. That could be a problem. Considering we're in, like, the worst position possible to have her walk up on us. We're going to get the reverse draw ready. Because we're going to probably be best to stay prone and shoot quick. I don't know if she sees us crawling around or not. I'm staying still just in case she's looking at us and she might uh, keep walking. Since I can't see her, I don't know if she knows we're here or not. So... Is she coming or is she like, going to spook? Still waiting. Okay, she is coming. There she is. We probably could have pulled off a pulser shot. But, that'll work. Uh, there's another one back here, and I thought there was one in front of us as well. I believe that one that was coming from, like, the island may not have spooked when we shot the other one. But, none of those were anything big or special, so I'll probably just... Go to the next uh, red. Never mind. <laughs> there she is. And she's dead. So we've killed six with the pulser and three with the reverse draw. So we've killed nine red deer already. And it has been just under 25 minutes. So like I was trying to say, I'll save you the, I thought I heard another one. I'll save you the time of me uh, picking up everything, because nothing was big or special in any way. And we'll just uh, probably cut to the next red deer. Oh, I do have to go back and pick up this one. Alright, so I haven't even finished picking everything up. And there's another red deer stag here. Another little guy. But I think he'll be stag number four or five. I kind of forget now. And he's down. I don't know why we're reloading our quiver again. Oh, there's another one. A uh, female coming in behind us. So that's ten red deer killed, if I'm not mistaken. Neck, bone, and spine. And let's see uh, how we can do with this female. around 40. Those rocks could mess us up though. When they keep going up and down on the rocks, I try not to shoot. There we go. Jeez. So I still got red deer to pick up, but we've now killed 11. At least I believe we've killed 11. In almost exactly 30 minutes since we actually started hunting uh, so that's pretty good. That's like more than one every three minutes, which is awesome. And yeah, like I said, this is just such a good area. And if I don't have a lot of time, but I don't feel like just running around and shooting stuff with guns, this is what I tend to do because I like red deer hunting. Red deer are pretty cool, especially when you get some of the big stags. They just are super cool and their uh, calls pretty awesome as well. But anyway, I'm going to pick these guys up and keep moving uh, along the path that we have. So we've got another stag coming in here. Small once again, just 95 to 145 score estimate. Uh, but like I said, it just depends on the spawn, like the size of the animals that you get. I remember having one hunt where I killed either five or six stags in a row that all top 200, which isn't huge, but you know, it's not bad. There's a roe deer there, but just gonna ignore her. So that should be red deer number 12 uh, for this hunt. And we're not even close to where we're ending. So double lung shot. Uh, pretty much right up there where that cliff is where I used to have my tent. I used to start uh, the hunt right about there. 
hundred and some, two hundred meters away from me, maybe. Uh, but since I've started uh, hunting or started uh, beginning to hunt from back there, I've killed a lot more red deer in each hunt because there tends to be a lot here that I was kind of missing because I just went the same direction and skipped this whole area. But anyway, we're going to get back on the shore and we're kind of off our path a bit, but we'll just keep going until we get to the end. Okay, we've got three red deer females coming in, two there and one down there. Uh, so I want to take, maybe I can get that shot, uh, 60 meters with the reverse draw to potentially not spook the others, and she's going to move again. That is the theme of me trying to take long shots with anything. Alright, so this one's out in front. I don't know if we can take a pulser shot there. Let me see what she's going to do. Uh, that's 40. I have to be crouched up anyway, so I'm going to use the pulser. This might spook all of them. I don't know. We'll find out. Aha! And she's moving again. I don't like taking moving shots, especially not when they're walking like direct, uh, directly at me like that. So now, this is a pretty easy shot, but the others are quite close as well. I don't know if they'll hear this or not. We might get away with it. Okay, we got away with it. Do I have any arrows left in my pulser? One. Okay, get back down. <laughs> so, next is this one. Ooh, there's a stag. I don't know if we're going to get to kill him, though, just because there's a much higher chance that that back one's going to spook now. But let's take our shot here. Oh, thanks for stopping. Put the bolster down. Hurry up. All right, she looked at us. I think she'll continue walking. So we're going to take her out with the reverse draw because we don't have any arrows in the pulser at the moment. And I want to kill her as quickly as possible to potentially kill that stag as well. So when she stops, we'll take a shot at her. She should stop anywhere in there. All right, then. Stag should still be coming. I wouldn't imagine he'd hear that. Yep, he's still on his way. So now we're at 15 red deer, I believe. And our time. Uh, we're still less than an hour. I'm trying to think it'd be 53 minutes, I think. 54, something like that. 52, 54, something like that. I don't know, 53, so, somewhere in that area. My math brain doesn't work anymore. I've been out of school for a month. <laughs> so let's uh, load our quiver up quickly before he gets any closer. Still doing pretty good on time. Is that by chance the one? I think it is. I was tracking one that was up to 240 kilograms, which is max weight. Uh, and he was going this way, but the tracks were old, so let me see if he's very heavy. 210 to 225. That might very well be him. Uh, you can see those three tracks uh, behind me on the hunter mate in the river. There's three X's. We'll see if those disappear, assuming we can kill this guy. I don't really need to move. I'm just going to wait uh, until he comes in. And we're getting fairly close to where we're actually going to stop. Things have been slowing down. This area does tend to be really good for red deer. Uh, but since it took so long, these red deer that were probably in the river at one point, in fact, I think I had their tracks back there, uh, a ways they were just to the side uh, they had moved on to here uh, since it took me so long but we caught back up to him and called him back this way let's get our pulser ready since it takes a bit longer to knock an arrow 
That's probably about 24, 25 meters. Oh, we spined him. Sorry, bud. I think the fact that he leaned like that might have had something to do with it. He was sniffing the air. All right. 16 red deer killed now. Pick all these up. And then we'll continue moving. By the way, you don't actually have to have that tent there uh, to do this. Basically the same hunt. I just uh, really like it because, as you saw, it starts you right by some red deer. Especially if, uh, like, if I were to host a multiplayer game and someone would spine there. Spine? Spawn there? <laughs> I'm looking at the fact that I spine shot him. If someone would spawn there, there'd probably be red deer right there, but... As the host, they can't spawn within 150 meters. But what I was going to say was, you could actually start at the lodge and kind of come down through and then, like, work backwards, sort of. But anyway, we're going to head uh, the rest of the way around this loop, come up past the lake, and call it a video. And this is where the game would crash. So I decided to leave this video here because we did do pretty good. We killed 16 red deer in less than an hour. So uh, with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.